Well, it's been a while since I've been working on my painting. So what I did is I have drawn in some things that I'm going to be painting. So I don't know what you can see here. There's a cartoon bird. Oh, let's see. You can probably see this. This old lady here, she's sitting on a pig. This is a, from a retirement. Okay, see, here's the face of the pig. And she managed to make it to retirement. So she's pretty happy she made, managed to make it to retirement. <laughs> okay, here's... Totally, totally something else. And then over here is a flower. And, okay, back to this cartoon bird. If you can see it, it kind of goes off the page. There's the feet. And... It's singing. So I had actually thought I was going to paint last night, but I decided let me get. Oh, and up here there's a flower, sort of a flower, and then there's a cartoon flying bird. So I have a few things to do. Oh, and it's just a very simple falling leaf. Did I show this? Yeah, it's going into that thing. At the end, I mean, I'm gonna try to fill it up as much as I can. And then in the end, I'm going to paint some kind of a background, sort of a black, but I've, I won't do like solid black. I'll try to tint it with maybe red or something. And um, the place I will probably put it will probably be right there. And if I wasn't doing that, I would probably take that off the wall and try to outline that maybe with white or something because you can't see the rooster at all. Now, actually right through this lens, you can see the rooster pretty well, but as it hangs on the wall, you can't see it at all. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I would ruin it if I tried, but I think if I get my painting the way I want it and I don't expect it to look like, you know, a really great wonderful thing but I expect it to look unusual and uh, so and I'll put some red tones in it because red and brown seem to be prominent I did receive my valances in the mail so I'm waiting for the panels to match and um, so that they are longer than I thought, but they're sort of, they're um, see-through like that, have these little bobby things there. Oh, one other thing that I did, I hung this up. I bought it to put it in front of the quilt and then once I got going with all of, wait a minute, did I show that? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. Yes, I think I did. Um, once I got going with hanging up everything on the walls, then I realized that it was just a matter of getting an equal distribution of things to look at in the room. Okay, so, so yeah, I didn't end up putting that in front of the quilt like I thought I was going to do. So that's hanging there. These are much bigger than I, I thought I read that it was to hold four inch net cups, but it's much bigger than that. I can hold these right there. 
Um, so that's one. I ended up ordering two more of these and then the the other one came in that I bought which again that was my second idea uh, which was to put it in front of this and again I'm not going to end up doing that after all so I'll have to come up with another idea of where that's going to end up hanging. And now that I'm changing my mind, I wish I I bought the darker color platter. Um, so I'll wait to go look for curtain rods until I have the panels to match. So, um, oh, I did one other thing. I ordered from Amazon, I, I order a lot of things from Amazon. I ordered a piece of furniture to go in between these two couches. It's pretty long, it's pretty, it's uh, about three feet tall. And so I measured everything to see whether that, <laughs> um, to see what couch set would move. So I decided that it would go this way because I didn't really want to shorten this section too much. So this couch can move, like this can't go any further towards, well, just inches, but it can't really go much closer to there. So, um, but this can, it can even overlap a little bit. So, um, so I'm gonna put that in between. That way I can put, well, maybe more plants <laughs> in between. I had that, it seems like I had something like that at one point, that they weren't backed up to each other. So that's coming. And I've been crashing into this lately. Uh, now that there's no junk on it. And it makes me wonder if I want this here. And again, once the season is over, um, I'll need to think about what to do with he, this. And for some reason, I keep thinking about um, moving the dining room table. Oh, and there is another thing that I did. I bought curtains for here. And I bought navy, and I'm a little worried now that I'm going a little too crazy with navy. But, uh, they're like 84 inches tall. I almost did it where I put like a closet pole in between. And instead, I'm going to put an actual curtain rod uh, mounted like right on the side of this and the side of the other side and come out this way into this room. And uh, I guess I will cover this just a little bit. But um, so it will be, they come with a little stick. So I bought two of them. And so it will close in the middle. So I'll be able to do a few different things. I'll be able to maybe keep them I mean, I'll be able to sort of shorten this opening a little bit on a permanent basis so that you won't see. I mean, like right now, it's just so messy in there. Or I'll be able to maybe kind of keep it sort of to one side or the other or just close up the whole thing every now and then if I have like a function 
I mean, there is a bathroom in here, so um, it's not all that private to use this bathroom. Um, and you do have to go through to go in the kitchen and all that. But still, um, I think it's useful to be able to close it off and um, not see things, especially now. My mother used to say, do one room at a time. And I told, I would, I would say to her, uh, that's not possible. Well, in this case, that's what I'm doing. Other rooms are suffering. Uh, but for now, actually, that's what's working for me. And eventually, I'll deal with the middle room. But for now, actually, um, the focus for, for me to focus on this room actually, uh, actually, actually, um, is, turns out that it is working out. All right. That's all. Bye-bye.